All right, I'm making this uh, little video here. And um, you can see I got my iPad, it's the 12-inch iPad, and I got it mirrored. So there's an app you guys need to get. Okay, there's some old apps and there's some new apps. This is the app you guys need to get. Once you get that app, it's going to break you through a process and you'll need to go to your Wi-Fi settings on your fish finder to make this work. So I'm going to go here to settings and I'm already in the, the display. We'll go here, the network. So if you go to network, actually, I'm sorry, I take it back, this display, and you, and you scroll up. Okay. I can scroll up from either side, by the way. And what you're going to do is you're going to go Wi-Fi connections and you got to go configure. And what's cool is if you go to the phrase and you click that and you allow to see characters, it'll, it'll let you see what your password is, right? So then you put that password in. Once you start on the app, you're going to need that password. So remember Wi-Fi connections and then you see here. I'm going to go back and then make sure it's on remote control, not view only, not off, remote control, and we're on remote control. Okay, and then um, don't worry about Bluetooth setting or settings for reset or factory resets. You don't have to worry about that. You need that configuration code, which is your password to get into your, your unit. And once you do that, what it'll do is on on your remote display, whether you're gonna use your phone or whether you're going to use your iPad, what'll happen is you'll go to that app. Let me see if I can get out of here. And when I go to that app, I'm gonna go through a bunch of prompts. And those prompts are going to prompt me to, it, it'll go to that page that you just saw. It'll go to the settings page. It'll say, hey, configure. So configure that first, get that ready. Then go through your prompts on your app once you go through the prompts on the app, it's going to tell you to go through your Wi-Fi settings on your on your remote unit. So I got to go here, and once you could see, it says Vince's find Vince's Finder right there. Um, once I once I've gone to the, my my Fish Finder on there, and I have it on the same Wi-Fi, so my Wi-Fi connection's running off my house connection, so I'm running. You can also run it off your, your hotspot on your phone, but it's going to say Vince's Finder on my phone if I'm using my cell phone or if I'm using my iPad. So I click that. It says no internet, but you're clicking there so you can just use it as a, as uh, the signal will go straight to your remote device, which the iPad right now is my remote device. And then once it's clicked on, then bam, I go over here, I go to here and it should connect. It'll say, are you the owner? It'll have the boat name if you've already named your boat in, in your fish finder through your settings. I've already done that all here. So now I could be anywhere on my boat and I can I can pull up the chart now and um, it'll show me exactly where I'm at. Okay, obviously I'm on land. There's the ocean, okay. And it's showing everything that's up on the fish finder on my Axion. I got Axion Pro, okay. Um, and I can go here. I can I can I can zoom in. Yep, I got the relief shading already in there. The last video I posted shows you how to do the relief shading. And what's nice is pretty soon, like I'll have another um, a bigger magnet here, or eventually it's probably going to go here. And I'll just put my iPad so it sits here and I can use it as a 12 inch screen here or I can take it and put it on a gimbal mount out on the deck of the Parker and have the same display on the part on the deck of the Parker that I have here. And what's cool is I can I can do my I can plot my waypoints. I can I can go on here and I can I can uh. I can hold down, I can do my waypoints, I can do everything I can do on this screen to this screen, okay? So once again, um, in order to do this app, you gotta download the app. You also gotta go to your settings on the Fish Finder, and on your settings on the Fish Finder, um, we'll go back to home here. On the settings on the Fish Finder, you're gonna have to go to settings, 
Okay, and then you're gonna have to go, you're gonna have to scroll up from this, this display. And on this display, you're gonna scroll until you see Wi-Fi connections right there. Wi-Fi connections configure. Once you hit configure, you're gonna figure out what's your password. You click on those, those asterisks and it'll give you, you can see what your password is. You're gonna need that for when you go into your phone or your iPad because it's gonna ask you for that code and then you're gonna put it in and you're gonna pair it. And then, like I said, once you open the Raymarine app, it'll prompt you through everything. So pretty cool. Um, guys always wanna go out and like, let's, you know, let's buy like more, 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 but man, use what you got to start out with. That'll let you look to see, man, if I do want a 12 inch screen, where am I gonna put it? You know, if I'm, if I have my kid driving the boat and I'm down, I'm down below, I can be watching Netflix and then go back over and see where they're going and tell them, Hey, we're going the wrong direction. I'm looking at where you're going and that's not right. Um, so yeah, uh, you could do all that all from here, all from your, all from your iPad and you're seeing the same thing on the iPad that you are on the screen up there, but it's way bigger and it's right in front of you. Would I have that in front of me right there? Maybe, I don't know. It just depends. Pretty soon I'm going to, I'm going to put a deck pad here and change some configurations of that. But the goal is to get it. So I have a bigger magnet here to start out with, and I'm just going to roll with the iPad here for now or this way. And then that way I can, I can have it low pro and still see where I'm going. Um, you know, obviously it, it needs to go this way in order to, to really read what's going on. And right now I have it on my Yamaha display. I don't have the proper cable that's coming in the mail soon. I got to get that going so I can read all my, um, all my readouts. I need to be able to see, I'll be able to see my gas, my, my speed, my flow, all that battery right now. I can't see that. I can just see my trim. I can see my fuel. You can notice I'm a hundred percent Remember to store your, try to store your boat at a hundred gallons. Or a full, mine's 100 gallons. Try to store it full. That way you don't have to worry about um, moisture getting in and water getting in your fuel tank. Like I had, now I have a brand new fuel tank. So once again, I can go here, I can tap the screen, or I could pull out here. I can, I can do things off the corner. Um, if you want to go to more data, there's a little arrow button here on the right. It gives me more data on what's going on on my boat or I can X out. Let's see if that works. Let's X out of that data and then see that pull down. There's a pull down right here. And you can, you can, damn, it's not working. <laughs> you can dial this in how you want. I'm gonna go back here. You can always go back home on your screen and then bam, like I said, I got it in both spots. Um, I can see what's going on with my dashboard, you know, I can slide when I slide up on my iPad, I'm sliding also on the screen. So it works out pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you got any more questions or you want to see apps go down, you want to see the Netflix, make sure you also are, you know, like I always say, use what you got. I'll throw one more thing in here. Um, I have this, uh, what is it? A JVC stereo courtesy of New Air Sound in Lompoc. My boy Bingo, go see him. Um, you can do Netflix on the boat. I can do it from either or. And what's cool is, is my unit right now is tied in to the stereo. So if I watch Netflix, I'll be able to hear it on my stereo and watch it through the fish finder and the iPad. So now I can mount my iPad underneath here or set it up somewhere up here while I'm laying down and I'll be able to watch TV while I'm sleeping at the islands. Okay. Um, it's saying can't connect, but it, it definitely will be able to, but, um, that's just one other thing you can do. Uh, use what you got. You don't have to have your NEMA 2000 connected from your stereo to the unit. It does help. I don't have that kind of stereo right now. Um, I did, I had a, a fusion radio and, uh, it, it didn't even have the NEMA 2000. You had to do an adapter. Um, no big deal. Uh, 
all you got to do is Bluetooth. The Bluetooth will Bluetooth to the to this unit. That unit will then all the clicks and everything will come up over the stereo. So pretty cool, you know, um, on what you can do. But like I said, um, whether you're using the grib, wh whatever you're using, just know that you can mirror these things. And if you have iPads or you have your cell phone, for instance, down everybody's downloading apps nowadays. You can download these simple apps, the Raymarine app. There's a few out there. Make sure you go to the one I showed you. It's this one right here. Go to that app, and that app is what's going to open up this remote, okay? And it's going to give you that mirror a whole lot better. Don't use those other two apps. This app is way better. Okay, so I hope this helps. If it's confusing, let me know. Um, and um, I can help you out. Just put your comments down in the bottom. A um, little critique would be great. Like I said, Vince, Jurassic Sport Fishing, Gray Marine Ambassador. And just trying to make things easy for people because I get a lot of questions on how things work and, and, and how you do this and that. And, and it's really it's really not that hard to use any of this stuff um, once, you, once you mess with it. Uh, it gets pretty easy. So, so, yeah, just know that you can remote this and it works great. All right, guys, thanks.